is Ride News Now. I'm Allison Hayslip. Today, it's an e-scooter bonanza. From a British Brexit ban to secrets and new tech revealed, here's the latest in all things mobility. This episode of Ride News Now is brought to you by the new Harman Spark. Upgrade your current ride with in-car Wi-Fi, virtual diagnostics, and so much more. To activate yours exclusively with AT&T, visit the link in the description. The UK has given us many wonderful things. Downton Abbey, Monty Python, The Beatles, and yes, The Great British Baking Show. Okay, if you have never seen it, you need to start now. You will thank me later. But for fans of e-scooters, it remains a dark and cruel place. That's because e-scooters, everyone's favorite new street terror, remain banned throughout the UK. And with British Parliament a little bit busy with this whole Brexit thing, chances are looking slim that this will change anytime soon. E-scooters are as popular as Lizzo, and now some cities are cracking down on e-scooters, not Lizzo. She is a queen, and she don't need a crown to know it. In Paris, for example, they've lowered scooter speed limits and toughened regulations in an attempt to curb e-scooter accidents. Curb? <laughs> yeah, you got it. Well, maybe fewer accidents will stop people from tossing them into the River Seine. Oui, oui, they do. You know, we should ask Lizzo how she feels about e-scooters. Maybe she can do something about this ban in the UK. Allison, Lizzo is not actually the queen of England. Jeff, Lizzo is the queen of everything. This is no secret. LA hates Uber's jump e-scooters and bikes. But newsflash, it's not why you think. Sure, they litter the sidewalks like some freaky urban apocalyptic scenario, but the real reason the City of Angels is up in arms over the micromobility machines is because of the data, silly. See, LA apparently doesn't care that the scooters and bikes are piling up on sidewalks like municipal trash, but rather that Uber refuses to share data about their customers' trips. Wow, okay then. When you rent one of Uber's janky jump rides, they know exactly where you eat, entertain yourself, and even where you choose to worship, the Church of Lizzo. Together, Uber, Bird, Lime, and Lyft have over 32,000 e-scooters, taking about a million trips a month. That's a whole lot of personal data. <sighs> So, while Uber's jump subsidiary will have to decide whether or not to share data with the city, I'm just a little creeped out about Big Brother's obsession with where we're going on our crappy little borrowed rides. Hey, Uber, you should know by now that secrets don't make friends. Unless they're really juicy and top-notch stuff, like our next story. Volkswagen is still trying to get out from the billowing black cloud of Dieselgate. Their latest effort focuses on electric mobility by exploring micro-mobility. VW Spanish auto division Seat is launching an electric scooter to take on the likes of Bird, Jump, Lift, Lime, Kick, Skip, Scoop, shall I go on? No? Good. Apparently, the company is working on three different electric scooter models, one of which will pack the same power as a 125cc motorcycle. I'm not sure exactly how powerful that is, but if we're talking about a scooter like this instead of this, well, they must have different sensibilities in Spain because that just seems a little irresponsible. This is one of the first new projects for the company since it hired its new urban mobility director, Lucas Casanovasa. And just based on his name, I'm assuming he got the job by wooing the board of directors with a single red rose. For more tech news, join us over at Ride.Tech. Be sure to follow Ride Tech News on your social platform of choice, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Sure, they litter the site. They litter. They litter. Sorry. They litter. 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 Dude, Cyber Monday. I already bought stuff this morning. I was like 30% off my skincare. Hell's yeah. <laughs> About their cons cons It's like municipal, municipal, municipal trash. Municipal trash. This episode of Ride News Now is brought to you by the new Harman Spark. Upgrade your current ride with in-car Wi-Fi, virtual diagnostics, and so much more. To activate yours exclusively with AT&T, visit the link in the description. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Also, head to ride.tech for stories, reviews, and more news.